I think we have to evolve the thinking about what is an enterprise system. Uh, it's no longer just the systems you run. It's the systems that help you do business, and help you do your work. Um, there is several different categories. You know, if the lead users will use anything. They, you know, they just want to try more and more things. But whether they actually use it or not, sometimes you know, you you use that new application, you know, that app that you downloaded, and you put your corporate information on there, just because you, you know, so you want to try it out. Yeah, hey, let's put some real use to it and see how it works. But what they may or may not realize is you just put some corporate information out there. Okay? That is a security risk. Um, may it, maybe they don't use this application anymore. Uh, on the other hand, there is you want to use this system because it is, there's so many reasons. It's faster than your enterprise network. You know, they have the cloud services out there, much bigger scale than your own. Um, that is one of the biggest reasons why people do it. It's just, it's convenient because it's fast, um, but at the same time, it is outside the domain of what is managed, what is understood. Um, so they have to adjust, companies have to adjust their thinking. Is do you want to be authoritarian and say, you cut that off, you can't do any of that? Or do you want to say, um, Okay, you can use these systems, but you have to use it with this caution. Either some of it is a technical framework, you, know, you use only this part of it, or you use only these, these applications, or you put it in a particular uh, security level, or in a particular place. Um, <clears throat> you know, sometimes they go out and they create something in, the, uh, in, the, in a public environment. This is our company site, use only this part of that. Don't use the entire uh, system in the cloud itself, just our portion. 